What's up, everybody? It's Ron up the Arkansas CW. We're here at Bentonville Film Festival, and we have on the couch. Would you like to introduce yourselves? Hi, my name is Carl Lindstrom. I am the director of Queen of Parody. All right. And this is Ren Paradis. I'm the artist and the subject of the documentary. All right, and uh, I just realized uh, you guys came from the filmmakers' uh, retreat, correct? We did. We were in Eureka Springs, which was an incredible place to see for our first time. Um, and it was great to spend some time getting to meet the other filmmakers and some of the big players in the film industry that uh, the festival brought into town, which was really uh, cool to have open dialogue conversations with them. Okay, so from what it sounds like, it sounds like you guys had a pretty positive experience over there. Really good. I, I suggest that's how we should always open a festival. Definitely, yeah. I mean, little, little leisure time between, you know, then and then the start of the week. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, anything you liked in particular about the uh, retreat? Or was it just all I, one big? You, go ahead. Yeah, for me, I really loved the location. It's a, a very, uh, Eureka is a very uh, special uh, village. And for me, the main, uh, the main thing was like to really meet and to get to know the filmmakers. Right. To have the time, you know? The, the connection. Yes, exactly. Definitely, definitely. So you guys are here to uh, premiere a movie right here. Yeah, so our film is Queen of Paradis. It's a documentary. And uh, a cool little fact about it is that part of it does take place in Bentonville. So we have a special connection to this place. Awesome. Um, Ren is an amazing artist, a visual artist. Um, and she does these incredible photographs, uh, surreal photographs. And uh, one of them uh, takes place on a runway. And uh, just a cool little story uh, to tie it into Arkansas and Bentonville. Um, the one at this scene in particular, uh, she was looking for a runway for over a year mm -hmm. um, to shoot um, because for her scene she needed a real runway right. and she looked around many many places and ev everyone said no 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 and we had a friend here who knew the guy who runs the little airport in Bentonville and they said yeah you can go out and photograph <coughs> on the runway but the thing you have to do is you have to look out for planes. Right. You know? oh. <laughs> oh, who not of that? You know? Yeah, yeah. You just got to look out for planes <laughs> when you go out there. And surprisingly, there was a lot of planes coming in. Uh, <clears throat> but we didn't have any problems, and it went pretty smoothly. Yeah, just to echo what Jeremy was said, you know, Southern hospitality. You know, yeah, sure, come uh, come by. Just just watch your heads. That's yeah, all it is. exactly. I think Bentonville is one of the places that is open to that kind of stuff, you know, to not only to art but just to creative ideas you know and that most definitely yeah if you get to the school once you get to the square you'll see a lot of just just art on the walls and whatnot and the uh, crystal bridges as well it's just gorgeous simply gorgeous yeah this isn't our first time here we really like it um, and uh, yeah we're very happy to be here definitely and um, for you what were you looking for in particular like while you were going throughout the US was it just whatever struck your inspiration or was there something specific you were looking for? So for my work, the way I uh, create my images is that I first imagine locations in my head and then I scout to find the real location out in the world. Okay. So in the documentary actually, it follows uh, from the beginning of the ideas until the actual final image. And so I scout uh, a lot to find those locations that I imagine. So sometimes it's challenging right, to yeah. find the perfect location. Getting those hours of research and trying to figure out where yeah. the best spot for you would be. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, and that's basically the premise of the film because she goes to these extreme lengths, sometimes dangerous places to achieve her images. We go to, we go all across the country and back. Uh, in the film, we document the whole thing. And it's, it's a real adventure and it's a, it's a cool story. Definitely, artists have to suffer for their art. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I mean, this is like the prime example right here. Well, hey, you you went through it and you came out some smelling like roses. So that's all that matters, right? <laughs> Definitely. So what was the film one more time for the viewers back home? What was so it called? the film is Queen of Paradis. It's a documentary we're going to be playing on Wednesday and Thursday. We hope you guys can make it out. Uh, this is, you know, part part of it is in Arkansas, so come support, and uh, yeah, we're, we'd be happy to see you. Awesome. Well, I hopefully I can get a chance to watch it, you guys. It sounds like a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to see like the visual art that you have on there. 